Hi, church family. Welcome to weekday worship. Today, I'm adding to my playlist a song called Fear No More by a band called The Afters. This past week, I received a letter from the chairman of our elders. What an encouragement to know that our church leaders are praying for me, praying for you, and our whole church family as we seek to minister with and to one another in this present crisis. The biggest encouragement was to know that as a church, we're facing not just this, but all of life's journey together. That's why Jesus called us into a community of faith. If you're like me, maybe you felt insufficient over the last few weeks. Maybe you felt like you were having a hard time handling all the changes just to day-to-day -day life. It's hard to keep the whole family inside, keep the kids occupied, care for a sick or vulnerable family member. Just getting the meals ready on time, or for some, even working from home is a challenge. Not seeing the people that we're used to seeing uh, every day. Maybe you've got a different crisis in your life. I know many of you do, and it's completely unrelated to coronavirus, but made worse by the situation that we're in. The constant flow of new and persistent challenges can wear us down and make us feel weak. That's why David said in Psalm 73, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. He knew that he was weak, but he also knew that he had an incredible resource. Now, we have the privilege of being God's resource to one another in a tough time. On our homepage at citycenterbaptist.ca, there's one-click buttons that you can press to pray for someone, ask for help, or offer your help to someone else. Why not take advantage of one way that God can strengthen you when you're feeling weak or use you to strengthen someone else? Paul knew this in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. He wasn't ashamed to ask for relief from the Lord, but he was also ready to embrace whatever response came from God. But he said to me, this is God saying to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Then Paul says, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardship, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So as you check out today's song, I Will Fear No More, I invite you to consider and meditate, not on your weakness, but on how you are strong through Jesus Christ. Join my weekday worship playlist to check out more songs I'm listening to and rest in the truth that you can fear no more because Jesus has overcome all fears. Please stay connected. Send our ministry team a note through our website or our emails. Let us know how we can join you in your journey. God bless you, church family, and have a great day.